looks into the official. Still going to the 25. Breaks free. Edmonds, the fullback to the five. Dive to the pylon. Touchdown, Tech.
across to Kenny Oxidine. Slashing his way across the 40. Great screen to 50. There he goes to the 40. The freshman is on the run. Turning on the jet for the 20. At the 10. He will take it all the way. Touchdown, Ken Oxendine. Those who know my name know it ain't about games. I go beyond knocking them out the box. You wanna be a comedian? I right, was red box. Cause if I want you, believe I'm gonna get you. I won't give a damn if Tony Terry was with you. So when I come to the same place as my enemy, the days are back, looking, back looking, firing it deep. Brian's still on the run. He's got it. A spectacular catch. Another group, your first letter's a P. You act like you know more enough respect. Back to throw, lobbing it. Left corner, Freeman leaps. He's got it. Touchdown, Tech. Wayne Thomas runs, gets a great block, and rips it across the 25 to the 20. Runs around the right side to the 10. Thomas will score. Touchdown check on a 34-yard run by Dwayne Thomas. on the field. The Hokies will pick it up. Lawrence Lewis has it. He's running at the 50. At the 40. Lawrence is on the run at the 20. He'll take it all the way to the 10. The 5. Touchdown Tech. A spectacular return. And the Hokies have struck again with their defense. Here is Cochran's kick. This one is high. Antonio going back to his own 21-yard line. Here's the run back. Freeman to the 25, to the 30. Slips free, the 35, to the 40. Turns on the Jets across the 50. There he goes down the sidelines. Freeman will score. Touchdown, Tech.
left, fires left, and it is caught, touchdown Tech! Touchdown Ryan Still. And the Shazo runs to the 30, to the 25, first down to the 20, and he's out of bounds. The Shazo called his own number. Fourth down and six, DeShazo takes the snap. Rolling right, looking, pump fake, he's in trouble. He gets away, he's Houdini, he's running, he scores! Touchdown Tech! How he did it, we'll never know! He was Houdini on that play! He got out of the mess, he ran into the end zone! It's an eight-yard touchdown run!
Virginia Tech opened its 1994 season at home by thrashing Arkansas State 34 to 7. The Hokies scored on their first three possessions as quarterback Maurice DeShazo ran for a touchdown and passed for two more. Tech's defense held the visiting Indians to only seven first downs. In week two, the Hokies played on the road at Southern Mississippi and overcame six turnovers and a 14-0 deficit to win this game. Tech's Dwayne Thomas rushed for 128 yards, and the Hokies put the game away on a DeShazo touchdown pass to Brian Still. Rolling right, looking to throw, has time, lets it fly into the end zone. It is caught! Touchdown, Tech! Brian Still hauls it in! Tech had 437 yards of offense in the 24-14 win over Southern Miss, and the Hokies would take a 2-0 record to Boston. In week three, the Hokies battled BC in the Big East Conference opener for both teams. Tech's defense was superb, shutting down BC's high-powered attack with a ferocious pass rush. Tech led 3-0 at halftime on a field goal by Adel Larson, and the Hokies scored their only touchdown on Torian Gray's third-quarter interception return. Nutrin the throw. Over the middle, Bryce's hand, hot ball, loose ball, Torian Gray! The 12-7 win at Boston College gave the Hokies a 3-0 record as they returned to Lane Stadium Worsham Field to battle West Virginia the following week on a Thursday night primetime CFA game. The excitement of Virginia Tech football had captivated the state. Never before was a Tech football team playing with more emotion and playing any better than Frank Beamer's 1994 Hokies. Tech fans knew how good this team was. On this night, the entire nation would see it too. The Hokies scored twice in a 23-second span in the first quarter to take control. Edmonds, another gaping hole up the middle, runs into the official, breaks a couple of tackles. Edmonds on the way, 10-5, touchdown. Fake to Edwards, back to Freeman on the flanker screen. Freeman to the 20. The Hokies got a glimpse of the future when true freshman running back Ken Oxendine scored on a long run. Ken Oxendine and Marcus Parker are the new running backs, and there is Oxendine. Breaks it. Harold Kidd got him, but too late. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. The 34-6 over West Virginia gave the Hokies a 4-0 record and moved Tech into the nation's top 10. Week 5 took the Hokies to Syracuse to battle the Orangemen. Tech played without the injured Dwayne Thomas, out with an ankle injury, and SU broke the Hokies' seven-game winning streak with a 28-20 victory that was televised by ABC Sports. SU's Malcolm Thomas scored on his 42-yard run in the final three minutes to give Syracuse the upset that dropped Tech to 4-1. Week 6 found the Hokies back home at Lane Stadium in another Big East battle, this time with Temple, and the Hokies totally dominated. Tech Stacy Henley scored on this block punt in the first quarter, and after that, it was all Maurice DeShazo and the Hokies. And Senior DeShazo back to throw, firing it deep into the end zone. Freeman is there. Touchdown, Tech! The 41-13 win over Temple gave Tech a 5-1 record, and the Hokies' defense moved up to number 9 in the nation. The following week, it was the Tech defense again that provided the big plays in a win at East Carolina. Lawrence Lewis made the big play early. And there's a fumble Ball. football. It's loose on the field. The Hokies will pick it up. Lawrence Lewis has it. He's running at the 50, at the 40. Lawrence is on the run at the 20. He'll take it all the way to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Tech! A spectacular return. And the Hokies have struck again with their defense. After East Carolina would go ahead in this game, the Hokies came back to win on DeShazo's six-yard third-quarter touchdown. Another quarterback draw, DeShazo running to the five. He'll take it in, standing up. Touchdown, Tech! With a 6-1 and one record after the win at East Carolina, the Hokies would return home to face the Pitt Panthers on Worsham Field on a beautiful fall Saturday. Over 48,000 were on hand to see the Hokies' special team excel. Freeman, who's had a spectacular day returning kicks, he's almost broken a couple of them. This might be the time. Here is Cochran's kick. This one is high. Antonio going back to his own 21-yard line. Here's the run back. Freeman to the 25, to the 30. Slips free to the 35, to the 40. Turns on the Jets across the 50. There he goes down the sidelines. Freeman will score. Touchdown, Tech. Tech jumped out to a 45-0 lead over Pitt, including a fine performance by backup quarterback Jim Druckenmiller. On first down, Druckenmiller back to throw, looking left. Wide open is Parker. He'll wait for it. He's got it. Touchdown, Tech. 
Tech. The final was 45-7. Tech was 8-1 and, and back in the top 10 again heading for the Orange Bowl. For the second year in a row, the Hokies found themselves in the Orange Bowl. Temperature at kickoff was 88 degrees, and ABC's TV cameras were on hand to see Tech play. Miami scored 17 points in the second quarter, including this touchdown catch by Chris T. Jones with only one second left in the first half. The Canes handed the Hokies a 24-3 loss and left the Hokies 8-2. Two weeks later, the Hokies bounced back to whip Rutgers in another Big East game, and on this day, Tech's offense was unstoppable. Here's a toss left. Wayne Thomas runs, gets a great block, and rips it across the 25 to the 20. Runs around the right side of the 10. Thomas will score. Shazo, a pump fake short, fires it deep for Still in the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Tech's Brian Edmonds had a three-yard touchdown run, and Thomas rushed for 172 yards in the Hokies' 41-34 win over Rutgers. The win gave Tech a 5-2 Big East record, good for second place, and an 8-2 overall record. In the season finale, the Virginia Cavaliers took advantage of eight Virginia Tech turnovers to snap Tech's 11-game home winning streak. Tech managed to stay within striking distance until the fourth quarter, thanks to another DeShazo to Freeman touchdown pass. The crowd of over 53,000 gave the Hokies a new all-time single-season attendance record, but the loss to UVA left a sour taste in the Hokies' mouths. That went away quickly when the Hokies learned they'd be playing Tennessee in the Gator Bowl.